Hello guys and uh, welcome back to this uh, video. Um, in this video I'm going to continue looking at um, the February March 2017 um, paper 2 1 and um, we ended on step number 8 and this time we're going to start with step number 9. Okay so step number 9 says enter the title the wood store at the start of the document. Okay so let's go ahead and do just that. So we're going to enter um, just at the start of the document we're going to enter the title the wood store okay so this one is supposed to be right at the beginning there so let's enter here's the, the wood store i don't know why i like the word store <laughs> okay so the wood store and um so next step apply the ws title style to this uh, title so let's just go ahead and do that. So select it and apply title, which is this one. Um, next step, below the title, add the subtitle, report by, and your name. Okay, so you can say below there, you can add um, report by, and then my name, Chikasa Evans, and then apply step 12 apply the ws subtitle to this sub um, title so just select it and apply the subtitle next step step 13 after the subtitle format the rest of the document into two columns of equal width with one centimeter space between them okay so go to layout and columns go to more columns and then select two columns and reduce the spacing to one centimeters but you must first of all select the text okay that you want to um, set as multiple columns okay so the entire se uh, text has been selected and make sure that um where am i here okay select two columns with one centimeter gap between them okay and say okay so that should be fine next step 14 apply the ws body style to this text okay so go ahead on home and apply the body style next identify all nine subheadings in the document and apply the ws subheading style to each one so now we're going to look out for the subheading so i'll start from the bottom so there you go with subheading a subheading you would usually um be isolated you 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 would see space before and space after um you would see um a text that is just isolated okay so this one is a subheading this one is a subheading that's two um three four um five six seven eight <laughs> eight and nine okay so we've identified all the nine subheadings and we need to give them the subheading subtitle okay oh not the subheading subtitle the subheading style <laughs> okay so right now we need to um go and do um step 16 place the contents of the file m 2017 exhibitions.rtf as a table and we are supposed to place them immediately after the paragraph which ends some currently planned um exhibitions so you can search for this one so control f to search so some currently planned and um, some we misspelled it spelled it okay so okay <laughs> here is a list of some currently planned exhibitions so right at the end there put um, put your cursor there and hit enter key on your keyboard and then we go to the file that we need to open so um, what's the name of the file the file is m2017 exhibitions and um, 
so exceptions is this one open it and automatically you see that this one is more like a table so just select where you see the um, the, uh, the, the star here the arrows in all directions and um, um, you copy this one so copy the table and you're going to paste it um, inside here control V and paste it notice how when you paste the table it is broken one part of the table exists on one page and the other part of the table exists on the other page we'll come back to deal with this one because a table must not be broken uh, on multiple pages so we'll see I'll show you how you can push the text um, so that this table can exist on multiple uh, on one page okay but for now let's go ahead and do something so apply the WS um, um, table style to the text in the table so you need to select the text first of all um, so select the text okay and apply the table um, style okay so let's see if we created the table style it's here okay so we've applied the table style next we need to um, merge the cells in the first row so let's go ahead and merge the cells in the first row so the first row and select it as so and merge the cells okay so merge cells um, next we need to make the first row text only centered and bold okay um, so we're going to make it center and bold okay next um, make sure that the words are not split where the text is wrapped so come back here and see that the words are not split where the text is wrapped so in our words text wrapping is allowed but the individual words should not split and continue on the next line so we'll look out for words that are uh, split that, um, um, that are text wrapped and are split then they shouldn't be that way okay next we need to make sure that all borders and grid lines are displayed when printed so come back here and select the table the entire table and go to um, home you are at home come back here and select all borders okay so all borders should be visible so so we're done with this part okay now we need to um, says um, step 17 says format the wood store um, catalog table so that it matches the formatting of exhibition table so if that is the case then we are going to apply the same um, the same um, um, font style or this we're going to apply the style that we created so apply it to this one and then we're going to merge also um, these um, tables so um, you need to um, select the first row because our aim is to match it with this one so the first row is merged and centered so we're going to do just that so uh, merge cells then center it and then make it bold and then look out for um, any split text okay where you have text wrapping so they sh you shouldn't you shouldn't have text that is um, split okay so that should be perfectly fine okay now that is step 17 so step 18 spell check and proofread the document make sure that spacing is consistent um, okay so let's go ahead and spell check the document so just hit F7 on your keyboard and um, um yeah let's check the rest of the document so um text that is underlined in blue um talks about the grammar okay so you should not um change this text okay um some dictionary for example i'm using the uh, united kingdom dictionary um some will use the us a uh, usa dictionary 
and so on and so forth and so they will have different ways of the grammar or presenting the grammar so usually I don't encourage changing the grammar that is in text but when you have text that is um, underlined as red then that is talking about um, spelling okay so it could be that the word is not English so it will be underlined okay again when you have word that is underlined in red and it is a noun better leave it as it is okay so only when you know that this word is actually supposed to be um, that okay so I'll ignore this one Rashford um, or Rafford or Ruford is a name so I'm not going to change um, this one okay so I'll just say ignore all so where all instances where uh, Rafford was appearing it will be ignored so um, Flora Lance is also a noun so I'll ignore all and ignore all ignore all and then this one I'll ignore I'll ignore and then I'll ignore this one as well ignore 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 now it's gonna be a song <laughs> okay so almost done so um, I wish there was an instance where we could just ignore okay ignore 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 and that should be fine so spelling and grammar check is complete and that should be fine so next make sure that spacing is consistent okay so when you view your document make sure that the spacing is consistent okay um, that is space before space after it is very consistent okay next all items placed on the page are within the margins okay so you need to do that so just check that the tables okay the tables are actually within the margins um, you can do that um, so next the document and paragraphs are complete okay so you can do that as well now here is where there are no split tables widows or orphans okay so if you come back here you see that this table is actually split on two pages so don't just come and push this table on its own to the separate page you need to push it together with its text okay so there you need to push this entire text onto a different table okay or rather a different page so that this table is actually you are saying a list uh, here is a list of some currently planned exhibitions so you <coughs> You see that the, then you're talking about the table below and that would make more sense okay so there are no blank pages and so we know there are no blank pages we just did that and save and print your document okay so make sure that your name center number and number appear on every um, on um, appear on your document so we just did that and we know that we have our name and um, um, candidate number and center number appearing there so this has been the section on document production i hope you guys have learned a number of uh, concepts um uh, in this and uh, in this section so i'm going to continue looking at um this time around we're going to start um, data manipulation and um i'll see you in the next video just a short while